Hello, I'm Nathan McCall, Kay Thiel on the forums, and I work on EverQuest 2. My name is Mia Del Casino, and I'm a senior environment artist on EverQuest 2. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how we establish the look and feel of Eidolon Jungle and Obal Plains. So basically, Drenal wanted to create the ultimate afterlife, so we really focused on the ethereal nature of the environments. When you get to Ethernear, you really have to question whether this is reality or not. You're surrounded by such a lush environment, such a technicolor, vivid, saturated environment that is unlike any you've ever seen in Norath previously. We also wanted both of the zones to feel hyper lush, definitely not normal. So we picked a color palette that wasn't like a traditional green and yellow. We moved more into the blues and purples to give it a look that wasn't quite real. Hi, I'm Brandon McDonald. I'm an environment artist on EQ2. As you can see, a large portion of Eidolon Jungle has been pulled up as if a hand has grabbed a landscape and tore it up into the sky. As you notice on the upper area, there's an intense fear influence with the trees are more exaggerated. In stark contrast, you've got the areas where the harrowing horde are found. And these are desaturated, these are grayscale. You even see dead trees in there. You won't find much life other than the harrowing horde. And you can see their influence, you can see their touch and how it's been spreading through the land. The herring hordes seem to be coming out of fissures that we created in the ground. Chris Atkins, I'm a character artist on the EverQuest 2 team, and I've created a lot of characters over the last expansion. Probably some of my favorite are the Tyrun Enforcer and all of the Harrowing Horde. Basically, we just wanted these characters to fit into the environment, but at the same time pop out against the stark white background to sort of get your attention from far away. We've taken something that was just like this, this little thought that we had in our heads and really getting this great idea of what the afterlife would be like for Nora. I hope you enjoy it as well. Sony.